Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And today I do have the pleasure to show you the new Omega Speedmaster Dark Side of the Moon Alingi. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Yeah, dark side of the moon, Alingi. And if you are now saying Alingi, what? This is, yes, a very successful sailing team. They won the America's Cup twice. But let us first concentrate on a really gorgeous, beautiful looking Omega Speedmaster. The watch could, if there wouldn't be an Alingi team behind and the corporation Omega did and uh, joined with the Alingi team, the sailing team, the watch itself could be just as it is designed by someone at Omega with those, uh, with the logo as you see it here, that's the Alingi logo and the Alingi logo also on the start stop push piece. So the watch itself simply is a beautiful interpretation of uh, the Speedmaster dark side of the moon with an open worked dial and this is now pretty special laser ablated and blackened with honeycomb and carbon design texture dial so they took some inspiration of course from the racing boat from the alingi boat and reinterpretation came on the watch, as I just said, laser ablated and blackened with honeycomb and carbon design textures. I will show you all these details and of course you will be able to see them through the various pictures I have been able to take of this Speedmaster. Have a look. Now it's time to give you the first information about the Speedmaster. So it is a classical Speedmaster with a case diameter of 44.25 millimeters with a thickness of 15 millimeters and a so-called lug to lug distance. So from one lug to the other lug, it's 50 millimeters. So nice sizes nice uh, dimensions, not too thick, not too big, not heavy at all since this is a ceramic case and the watch including the strap weighs 96 grams. I've been, I will weigh all the watches now, from now on we will have the weight of all the watches just to give you more precise information about what you will expect when you wear the watch. So the watch is powered, of course, by an interpretation of the 1861 Moon Watch Caliber. This is not yet the 3861, the one that is METAS certified or MASTER chronometer certified. So this is still the traditional Moon Watch Caliber, um, the 1861 in the interpretation. And this one is, uh, now called 1865, 1865. Power reserve of 48 hours. Um, 3 hertz, so the balance wheel oscillates at 21,600 semi oscillations, or 3 hertz. And it is the architecture, the classical architecture of the moon watch chronograph. And now listen carefully, since Omega is now step by step fading out the 1861 classical Moonwatch Caliber, I highly recommend you, in case you not yet have one of those watches in your collection, meaning a classical Speedmaster. Um, and I don't think it is a matter of fact if you uh, have the classical Speedmaster in its classical design, even with uh, the bracelet, I think you should have one in your collection and one with the original one 
861 caliber or interpret interpretation 1865 here, but I should you should have one. And probably when Omega is going to give up or fade out this caliber, this watch might be a watch that people are then trying desperately to buy. Could be. So in case you're not yet having one, think about buying a Speedmaster. Equally which one, but this one could also be the one of your choice. Forget Alinghi. Alinghi is just a partner. Look at the watch. It's really beautiful. Don't think about, yeah, another watch they're doing with a partner, limiting it, blah, blah. No, don't, don't, don't. Just look at the watch, look at the pictures we're offering you and just confirm me, please, that this is simply a very beautiful Speedmaster, the combination of colors, material surfaces. Have a look at the second part of pictures we're showing you. I want to give you some information about Alinghi. Alinghi um, is a competitive sailing team was created in 1994 by Ernesto Bertarelli. In 2000, the team set itself the goal of winning the America's Cup, which it did twice in 2003 and 2007, meaning it was the first European team to win the historic prize. So the team has many other successes to its name, both from before and after its America's campaigns, including seven Bol d'Or victories, eight D35 trophies, four Extreme Sailing Series championships on GC Golf Charlie 32 Racing Tour Championship and a GC 32 World Champion title. So this is really amazing what the, the, the team did. So to enhance the movement, Omega has taken inspiration from Alinghi's new TF-35 catamaran. And now watch here, um, using uh, laser ablation, the main plate and barrel bridge have been given a honeycomb effect similar to the interior of the Alinghi boat's carbon hull. So you see this here, when the hand moves along, okay here then i will turn the watch around and you see the honeycomb effect here underneath there is the honeycomb effect visible i will come closer to the camera to show you now now it's perfectly visible here that's the honeycomb effect and the same laser ablation technology has been employed to decorate all the other bridges with a black carbon pattern. <laughs> also, of course, inspired by the carbon that is used for the boat's hull. So, carbon patterns, we do find lots of carbon patterns here being used to decorate the surface of the open worked dial. Oh, that's an open work dial and that's the surface of the movement, of course, you're seeing. And this is, I think, a picture where you can see both now. You see here is the honeycomb and here is the carbon pattern. Very nice. Now watch here at the six o'clock position. The traditional subdial design has been replaced with a sound blasted and anodized aluminum disc. You can clearly see it here. Normally we do have the 12 hour counter of the chronograph here, but it has been um, replaced, which features the Alinghi logo. That's the Alinghi logo here, you see, transferred in red. The team's logo, now this is interesting, the team's logo here. The team's logo represents the letter A, of course, for Alinghi, and is inspired by two boats churning the seas before the start of a match race. And the logo rotates, of course, because there's a little arrow here, you can see it. 
So the chronograph is running for six hours now and if we would have used the chronograph for long-term measurement, uh, we would measure almost six hours here, um, some 19 minutes, 18 minutes, and uh, adding those seconds. But um, as I assume such a watch, if it is even used for such purposes, will only be used for short time measurements, then it is not as important to have perfectly readability of the hours counter. So replacing it with that disc is or was not a bad idea. And the combination of colors, red and black, with those surfaces, the carbon-like look and the honeycomb look, all the combination and also the, the beautiful minuterie. Can you see here the dots that in that help you to read the elapsed time when you stop the chronograph hand? Everything here is really perfectly um, yeah, designed, looking good. Now I do have another surprise for you. Please uh, concentrate now on your screens. Um, what you are going to see now for me was stunning. Look, this is the dark shot. Oh, wow, 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 that's incredible. Do you see that the entire basal is filled up with super luminova so you can really read from the tachymeter scale all the indications, 500, 400, 350, etc., etc. It's so beautiful. It looks like the entire watch would have a hidden battery somewhere and there is a small switch where you can turn on literally the, the light to illuminate that base of very, very nice. Well done, Omega. Congratulations. This is really cool. This is another highlight on this Speedmaster for me. The um, Alinghi logo on the start stop push piece. Uh, yes, that's just nice design. There's nothing more or nothing less to say. And even if you're not into sailing, even if you didn't even know who Alinghi is and that there is an America's Cup and that this is a successful, competitive and successful sailing team, it is simply a beautiful watch. And I want to repeat myself um, what I said before. Think about getting one of those incredible Speedmasters before probably it is too late and the old 1861 or in this case 1865 caliber is no longer available. Let me turn the watch around to show you what we are seeing. I already showed you the 1865 movement and what do we see here? Dark side of the moon, that's in the engraving on the case back and up here you we have the word team Alinghi. A little bit uh, reflecting, but I think there we see Team uh, Lingi. So, um, yeah, everything perfect. There is one little, little flaw I have to mention for the watch. That's the fact that the watch is only waterproof 50 meters or 167 feet. This is something, of course, that's due to the construction of the Speedmaster case, but 100 meters would have been perfect. Of course, I do have to accept the fact that this is due to the construction of the case and everything else not possible. So we have to take it as it is, but I would have wished more waterproofness for such a watch that is, of course, due to the fact that it is a watch that should be used or can be used on a sailing boat, should probably be more waterproof. Okay, the strap, nice, ticking, this sporty design. We have also pictures showing the strap under different light conditions. Please have a look. There you go. Now back to the studio light. You can see here, here. You see, that's how it looks. Then we do have the nice pin buckle. It's a ceramic pin buckle, of course, and uh, you can see this. Omega, and you see the zirconium dioxide um, being mentioned. So it's a ceramic pin buckle. Then you can see the strap from behind. 
There you go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, I do have to admit that even I very much, very much, very much liked the Speedmaster Dark Side of the Moon. Um, I, I don't know why. For a certain reason, there are a little bit of more red on the dial. The combination of adding this, this red with the nice Alingi logo gives this Speedmaster some extra sexiness. Forgive me if I say this, but it is how I see it. So I very much like this Speedmaster. And once again, I don't care about who is Alingi. It is nice to know that they are successful. It's nice to know that Omega has this partnership. But the most important for me is that this is due to the fact how it is designed, the combination of red with the treatment of the surfaces, with the ceramic case and the entire looking, also when you see the dark shot and you see everything glooming, including the basal, this as a total is a very attractive Speedmaster for me. And uh, yep, that's, that's how it is. <laughs> that's how it is. And now, after watching those nice pictures, I would like to say thank you for watching this video, this presentation of this Speedmaster Dark Side of the Moon Alingi. Um, now you know that it is a successful sailing team, but most of all, this is a very beautiful chronograph. So let me know what you think, if you agree or disagree. Um, I'm looking forward to read your comments as always. Um, if you have questions, please let me know. Um, stay tuned and yep, let us uh, see each other very soon again um, through the next video we are going to put online and there are many more videos to come, of course. Bye bye.